This is the cheapest 64 GB storage phone under 10,000 Kenya shillings from an official store on Jumia. This is the Freond F9 and welcome to my review. Now there are two versions of this phone, 64 GB comes with 2 GB RAM and 128 GB comes with 3 GB RAM but this is the 64 GB and 2 GB RAM version. There are two free on F9 prices, one is 9590 for the blue phone and 9790 for this phone, the black one. The other phones in this price range are the UMDG G1 and C1 but they only have 32 GB storage. It's 2023 and big storage is very important even for cheap smartphones. Now let's take a look at the accessories that come with the Freeond F9. It comes with a user guide booklet, free phone case, USB type A to USB type C cable, a 10 watt charger and a SIM ejector tool. Now let's take a look at the physical attributes of the Freeond F9. At the back is this one piece back cover which surprisingly is fingerprint proof. Very nice for that price range. The camera bump consists of a main camera, macro camera and the flash. On the right side we have the power button which also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner and the volume buttons. At the bottom from your right we have the 3.5mm audio jack, the microphone, USB type C port and the speaker outlet. On the left side we have the SIM tray which can hold 2 nano SIM cards or 1 SIM card and an SD card. Another big surprise is that this phone can support up to 1TB of external storage which is huge. And finally we have a water drop notch for the front camera. And now let's take a look at the specs starting with the display. This is a 6.52 inch or 165.6 mm display. It has a resolution of 1600 by 720 which is a HD screen and a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio. The phone is powered by an octa-core Speedtram SC9863A processor and it has a power VR Rogue GE8322 GPU. It has 2 GB RAM and 64 GB of internal storage and it comes with 112 operating system. At the back, the main camera is 13 megapixel followed by a 2 megapixel macro lens. And finally, at the front, it has an 8 megapixel lens. So let's take an in depth look of the camera. The main 13 megapixel rear camera takes very nice photos. And here are a few samples. The maximum video recording quality for the rear camera is 1080p at 30 frames per second. And the video quality from the rear camera is good and of acceptable quality. The front 8 megapixel lens also takes very nice selfies, although they have a little bit of color saturation. The maximum front video quality is capped at 720p and the results are not that very good looking. The video looks blurry and the colors don't just pop out. But the 2 megapixel macro camera surprised me. It takes very nice macro photos. And these are the only sensors available on the Freeond F9. We've already seen that the fingerprint is available on the power button. Another security feature I want to mention is that this phone also has face unlock features, which is very nice. Let's continue with the sensors. The accelerometer is available, the orientation and magnetic sensors are not available, the proximity, light and rotation sensors are available, the gyroscope, gravity, temperature, pressure, humidity and game rotation sensors are not available and finally the step detector and step counter sensors are available. The phone also has very good sound quality. And that's my review of the Freeond F9, a very nice phone for WhatsApp, watching content and very light gaming. It has big storage, takes good selfies and it's very affordable. A very nice phone indeed. That's it, my name is Dominic, let's meet in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.